Hey guys, we're going to try again to style up a layout that looks like Slack, but this time we're going to use CSS Grid, and instead of me trying to build the layout, we're going to use one that someone else has made, because CSS is not my strong suit. So this is what it looks like. This is exactly what we want. Teams, channels, header. Um, in the web version, they don't have teams, but why not? Let's add teams, because um, teams are nice. So here's kind of how the grid is going to look like when we set this up. We're going to have one, two, three columns and one, two, three rows. And here is the HTML and CSS we're going to use. But instead of just using CSS, I thought it'd be cooler if we use styled components. So this is a library. Um, so basically, you don't have to use CSS classes and you just use components that are styled. If you've never seen it before, it's super cool. I really like it and uh, it's getting quite popular. So I'll show you how to use this. So we're gonna take this layout and use styled components on it. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is go over here. This is my client and I'm just gonna say yarn add styled components. And then I'm gonna add a new route here called view team. And view team is where we are the page we're gonna set up here. I'm not gonna make a private route because I want to be able to access it while I'm styling it, but we will change this later. So we'll call it view team.js. So import react from react. And then we're export default. And here is where we're gonna put all our stuff. So we're gonna copy this and paste it in here. So here's what our layout's gonna look like. Um, we're getting in some errors. Expected closing. Oh, is it off by one? No, it looks fine to me. I don't know why I'm getting errors for this. All right, let's try formatting this. I'm not sure why this is getting errors. I'm just gonna come over here and see if this renders okay. Nope, we're missing a in the input. Oh, they just forgot to close the input tag, that's all. All right, there we go. So we're gonna break this off into components. I'm gonna create a components, oops, not a file, a folder that we're gonna put our components in. So the first thing we can create is a sidebar, or we'll call it channels. That makes more sense. Um, so this is going to be a channels.js. And we're going to import styled from styled components. And we're going to export default a styled div. and for channels, if we come back over here, we can see this is the markup we want on channels. Um, putting in the second column and the, I guess that that's the one fourth row, I'm not quite sure. And so what this does is we now have a div that we can use with this styling. So back over here in our view team, I'm going to say import channels from components slash channels. So now instead of using this div here, I'm going to say channels. And then I'm also going to just give that a background color. So background color. And we're just going to inspect this to get the color that we want. So they have a little color picker in um, this. We'll copy that and paste that here. Cool. So that's our channel div and we're gonna create a teams div as well. You can copy this, paste it here. And let's see what our teams are using. So our team is has this styling and we want to add a different background color for it. They have it here. It's a darker purple. All right. 
oops I did not mean to click on this let's go back and grab our picker and we have our darker purple now all right um, we don't want notifications okay so now we have a color for our teams as well and then we're also going to have a header a uh, messages and input so header messages and input so copy the team put in header And now I don't want to add any background color or anything to this. So I'm going to paste this guy in here and move on to messages. Oops. And grab that. So now you can kind of see how we're not, we're able to put our CSS in between here and it's applying it to this div right here. And because we're doing this, we just use this component and now it has that CSS and we don't have to do anything. Now, messages is a div, but input is an input tag. So we just change that there. And so we get an input tag now. Um, everything else is a div. So coming back over here, we'll call this app layout because we need an outermost one too. So paste. Oops, let's copy the channel. And here is our overall layout. Pop that in there. And then in our view team here, so now we're gonna import each one in. So teams, header, messages, input, and app layout input messages header teams so now here we'll do app layout here we'll do teams channels header messages and then here is our input. Oh, I guess our input is wrapped in a div. So we'll put input here and we'll come back over here and change this. I thought it was the input itself. We can play with that too and also see which one looks better. Um, enable missing file extension. Um, is it, are we getting an error? Okay, cool. Hey, this is uh, laying out quite nicely. So I did not, did I add a uh, input here? No, we do have input. So everything looks good. I see the channels and the teams. Not sure what's happening down here. Is that our input? So our input's not getting stretched. What I think I wanna do is try if I just do an input tag here and see what that looks like. Okay, nothing happened. So I'm gonna inspect this and we can come in and see what happened to this guy. And the div kind of just got collapsed. All right, so we'll put this back to a div. And we'll put this back, because that seemed to work. So that is a decent layout and we can see the boundaries of this too if we go into inspector. Here's our header up here um, and then this is where we're going to put messages. So this looks pretty good for our layout. I'm pretty happy with this. So this is a good stopping point. Um, what I think I want to do next is elaborate on this layout and uh, make our components. So right now we just kind of have these styled components that we created. 
I want to be able to pass props to them and uh, instead of having channels just be static here I want to be able to pass the channels in and do a little side layout as well so we'll be doing more layout stuff in the next video but this is a good start um, with styled components so thanks for watching guys and the code will be up on github